Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Virtual Friend Hack. I'm Kim Hampton, and today we will be highlighting Miss Nicole S. Norton Evans. Now, she's a writer, a publicist, a public speaker, and so much more. But I don't want to bore you with me trying to explain who she is and all that she does, so I'm ready to jump right in. Are you ready? All right. Well, then let's do it. Hey, Nicole. Welcome to hey. the Virtual Friend Hack. How are you? Are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm on the other side today. So why don't you explain that? Because we know that you are no stranger to the Virtual Friend Hack. So tell everyone what you do with the Virtual Friend Hack. And, uh, you know, just, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Okay. Nice. Wow. Um, this is such an honor to be interviewed by a legend such as yourself. Uh, Kim Hampton, I am really excited about this. Um, thanks for having me. Um, I've heard that, um, I, for me, I'm like, I, I was born and raised in Clinton Hill, um, downtown Brooklyn. And, you know, I guess I'm the oldest of three, so I had to hold it down all the time um, mm -hmm. with my mom. You know, my mom, she's a Guyanese mother, so mm -hmm. very strong, very, you know, very witty. Ready to go, strong. I mean, I'm gonna say it again. You know, um, <laughs> all that I needed, all that I needed to be where I am today. Um, I graduated from Long Island University, um, got a couple of degrees, and I gathered myself to the point to where um, I listened, and now I'm here. That is awesome. So that must be you. Must have gotten all of that from your mom because. You know, some people say that you're like this one woman band and you're so full of ideas and that you are the go to person for almost everything. So that's that's pretty cool. Now, like I said, you are no stranger to now PR magazine and you actually have a show called The Virtual Love Hack. Can you tell us how that came about and tell us a little bit about that show? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the virtual love hack is, is very simple. Um, people always say, why didn't she leave? Why doesn't, why doesn't she leave him? And why does she have a hard time getting him out of her life? The question is, why did they get together in the first place? Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the times people, they ask and they learn from their mistakes. Um, I've seen many, many women that suffer through battery and abuse and they can't get out of it. So I'm here. I'm not a doctor. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to say that it's a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. It's a roller coaster. And as a married woman, I'll be the first to tell you that. You know, so virtual love hack is something that I created. Um, it is basically me talking by myself, you know, in front of a camera. And um, it's all coming off my head. And I'm really just going by emotions and feelings and experiences. So it's a lot of fun. It's a that lot of fun. Awesome. That's awesome. And I'm sure it's a lot of help because sometimes when you're going through things, you feel like you're alone and no one else is going through them. So I'm sure those you're dropping some pearls uh, for people that will help them in those relationships. Mm -hmm. But Nicole, as I've gotten to know you, um, I mean, you, you are this incredibly open and warm person. You're always seeking to help people. You're so positive. I mean, you even opened up your mom's kitchen to me because she made me this incredible pot of pepper pot mm -hmm. uh, for over the holidays. And, and I was just so forever grateful. It was so, so wonderful. But mm -hmm. during your third pregnancy, you kind of, well, not kind of, you experienced a medical emergency um, that could have, that pretty much changed the trajectory of, of life for yourself. Would you share a little bit about that with us? Mm -hmm. um, for those that know what Bell's palsy is, it was never something that I ever expected. Um, but my daughter, who is now 10, she was my first priority. So I was extremely stressed out during my pregnancy. Um, I had early contractions that never stopped. Mm. And I had to wear like a machine, you know, around my belly, around the, 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 you know, contractions area every day. I had to monitor her. And what happened was, is the stress um, that, I mean, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get to it, but this is something that's very important. I had to drink a lot of water a lot of water. And what happened 
with my face is it stopped. The nerves became paralyzed mm. um, to stress. And because of the damage or even the inflammation in my nerves, um, the muscles, the intensity of the, of, the, of the damage caused the muscles to stop. And, you know, I can't really smile like I used to. I can't really blink, you know, like I used to. The scrunched nose, you know, you'll, you'll notice the difference in someone's face as a part of the problem. Um, inflammation in the nerve is very serious. Um, it controls the muscles. So the muscle that you used to smile, and I, the decision that I made was I didn't take the steroids. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, the treatment that I was supposed to take, I didn't take it because of the pregnancy. I didn't want it to affect my child. Mm. So, you know, they say that many people initially make the mistake of a stroke being Bell's palsy, which is not true. It's two different things in the same family, but it's not a stroke. Mm. So when you produce a common symptom of weakness in the body, the two aren't actually the same at all. You know, so even though my doctor was angry with me and she told me, oh, I can't believe you went against what I told you to do. I just felt inside that I had to, I had to deny it. I had to, and it's my only child, you know, it's my first child. I didn't want anything to happen to her. Right. Wow, as a mother myself, I know that had to be incredibly, and I mean incredibly scary, but God saw you through and you have a beautiful, intelligent, healthy, beautiful daughter, uh, Taylor, and we're going to get to her. We're going to, yeah, we, we're going to get to her soon, um, but that is truly such a blessing. But question, looking back on the decisions that you made, the decisions to deny the medical treatment that could have potentially helped your face. Um, uh, looking back, do you, do you ever second guess or have second or have doubts about your decision? And, and do you ever have doubts about, you know, maybe your appearance and how that might affect you business wise and just life wise in general? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. I certainly did make peace um, because I am a beautiful woman and came a very long way um, with this thing. Bell's palsy is a beast. You know, it can strip you of your love for mm. who you are. Right. Um, and, you know, when you assume that people are viewing you in a certain way and they really don't notice it, but you say, oh, I had Bell's palsy. And they're like, I would never have known <laughs> if you didn't tell me. That's cool. I mean, you know, right now is thousands of people, thousands dealing with Bell's palsy for many different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I recommend that anyone who's having trouble with facial paralysis um, to not necessarily um, cry about it. There's nothing mm -hmm. you, you're going to get over it, you know, but to seek to seek help, mm -hmm. to seek support, you know, support groups, because you know, it's helpful to talk about things. It's very helpful if people that have dealt with it, they can actually tell you that you'll get through it. My concern is, is that they don't have the tools that they need to cope. Right. That's my concern. And to deal with it, you know, the new you, because you are a different person after dealing with those palsy. Um, I look into the mirror and I see another person. Mm. I look into the mirror and I say, I love that person. You know, and, and this is the thing you got to deal with, you know, as a woman. Already there's a lot of vanity, you know, that we deal with already in the public's eye, in yeah. magazines, on television, you know. So I think it's really good that, you know, if they look for that help, um, they can get that help. I have many places that I can recommend um, for those that are looking. Wow. So um, how can you share that information with some of the, the viewers? Um, the Mayo Clinic, um, if you've ever heard of the Mayo Clinic, it's really an awesome um, place to start. Um, they have multiple, multiple support groups for those that are seeking help, um, not to mention for those that want to start the journey as to fixing it. If they want to fix it or if they want to correct what they, you know, see in the mirror, 
you know, it's up to them. I'm not telling you, I'm not a doctor, but I do know that the Mayo Clinic, they deal primarily with teaching you uh, facial exercises, things that you can do to make it better. Okay. Wow. Well, that is awesome. Like you, you have made peace with this whole situation and I'm sure, um, um, your life is sweeter because of it, because we can dwell on all of the negative things yeah. and, and the imperfections of life. But when you think about it, nothing and no one is ever perfect. And we just have to learn to live with our perfect imperfections. So, but speaking of your daughter now, tell us about your daughter, Miss Taylor. And we hear that you're not the only person that has a TV show on the magazine, the now PR magazine. She also has a show. Tell us about that, how it came about. And yeah, mm-hmm. fill us in. Mm-hmm. Well, the Taylor and Lily show um, consists of two best friends. Okay. Um, one, of his, one of them is a puppet and the other one is Taylor. So what they do is they talk about different things, the struggles in life, politics, mm. school. Um, they both share their knowledge and their interests with each other, with the world. And I think that the enlightenment for the children that are out there, it sets a different tone because of the temperature mm. that we're in. They're looking for something exciting. They're looking for something, you know, different to watch. Okay. And be as it may, they're, they're doing a fantastic job, you know, pandemic, they talk about the voting, you know, and remote learning, you know, to be quite honest, it's a big, big deal. A lot of kids are not enjoying remote learning mm-hmm. and they're having a hard time getting into the swing of things because they're so used to, you know, seeing their friends every day. Right. You know, so they're having fun and through music and discussion, I'm sure they'll be all right. That is awesome. So now where can we see this show? Where can everyone get a mm-hmm. glimpse of that? Sure. Um, you can find them actually on Instagram. Uh, Instagram, they are at the Taylor and Lily show. That's T-H-E-T-A-Y-L-E-R and Lily, L-I-L-L-I-E show. And you can find them on YouTube. Uh, YouTube under now PR Magazine. They are, you know, they're just funny. They're 10 years old. And, you know, what makes it even more funny is that the puppet thinks she's human. <laughs> so mm-hmm. that's that's a lot of uh, laughs for yeah. everyone. That's awesome. That's awesome. Does she come to you and ask you for ideas and ask for your help? Yeah, that's awesome. That's mm-hmm. awesome. And I think that's what makes her so original and so creative. Yes. is that she wants to find different things to talk about. Exactly. And important things to talk about, because when you think about, I mean, I, I get, I have a 16 year old and, and we depression and, and, and that mm-hmm. whole thing has really blown up. So many people are just, yeah. that just don't know how to cope and how to handle because it's one of our basic needs, human touch interaction. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, I agree. Yeah, that just the whole learning, the remote learning, I'm sure it has just just taken its toll on a lot of people. It has. It really yeah. has. So I know that you are a big advocate for women and when it comes, especially when it comes to self-esteem, um, why is that and what is it that you want to evoke in women? Well, I think the most important thing um that we should think about here is beauty mm-hmm. being able to see your own beauty and you know and i'm i'm from brooklyn so you had to be tough <laughs> in brooklyn and as you know it a lot of people that come out of brooklyn are pretty much they have an edge to them and you know my mother always told us to make sure that's what you want to do mm-hmm. and that's what you want to say because you can't take it back you right. know, and that, that was the highlight of my life to this day. Um, making peace with yourself is extremely important. Mm-hmm. And I say that because I've gone through it. And even though I didn't take whatever advice the doctor told me to take, I had to, I had to stand behind it. You know, I had to believe in what I was saying. And she now 
we're still friends. You know, she now understands what I'm saying. And she looks at my face and she doesn't say anything about it, you know, and she understands, you know, why I did what I did. But for women out there, for whatever they're going through, look at your own beauty. Look at what's inside of you. Make sure that you are in acceptance to what you've gone through because that is who you are. And those experiences made you who you are today. Wow, that is completely awesome. So then on a lighter note, and since we were talking about beauty and self-love and self-beauty, I see that you make your face up and you have these beautiful locks. Talk about your locks. How long are they and how long have you had them? Thank you. Thank you. It's it's past my booty. Oh, wow. <laughs> my booty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've had it for over, well, it'll be 11 years, um, February tw- 28th, I think it is. My daughter was born the 25th and the 28th is when I cut everything off. Yeah. Wow. And so it, do you plan to have locks forever for life? Locks for I don't life. Think, <laughs> no. Locks for life. I don't know if I'm a lifer. I can't really say, you know, um, I love my locks. Um, I've been doing a lot of different things and, you know, um, as far as appearances and, you know, helping people out with their products and, you know, lock magazines and clothing that represent natural hair mm-hmm. uh, is awesome. You know, awesome. And I think everybody should really like embrace the natural hair like movement only because it's long overdue. Right. It's something that's based on hair and you should be, you know, you should be able to exhibit or even experiment with your own hair. You should not be told what to do with your hair. Right. And the highlights of it, the highlights of it, what makes me proud of uh, representing, you know, natural hair myself. I think that the need for, you know, how you maintain it or whatever maintenance you use to keep it up, that's on you. You know, you could do whatever you want, but as long as you are happy with your hair and not, you know, doing something to please others, then that's natural enough for me. There you go. There you go. This is one, one shoe size doesn't fit all, right? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Well, we we so appreciate you sharing so much with us um, today. What can we expect from you in the near future? Oh, no. Well, I mean, unfortunately, we just missed a fantastic show by Zach Sanders, one of the uh, um, ambassadors that we have on now PR Net Magazine. Um, he's a saxophonist and he played and he did an awesome Valentine's Day concert uh, two days ago. So we have a lot of that. We have a lot of live performances, articles. You know, we have so many different people that want to freelance write for us. And we also have, of course, new Tail and Lily shows, um, virtual hack shows, including, you know, the love hack, the lock hack, you know. So I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about how many uh, people have been supporting us and reading our articles and sharing our articles and shows. So, hey, we got a lot coming. We got that's a lot coming. awesome. That, that's truly awesome. So how can people find you? Oh, sure. Um, Instagram, now PR Magazine, all one word, N-O-W-P-R Magazine, Mm -hmm. and YouTube. They can find us on YouTube, now PR Magazine, and of course, the Taylor and Lily Show. Awesome. Do you want to spell that out for people? Yes. The (laughs) T-H-Y, I'm sorry, T-H-E, Taylor, T-A-Y-L-E-R, and... Lily, L-I-L-L-I-E, and show. So you're going to just put that all together, one word. I was talking about you because you did tell us about Miss Taylor earlier, but what about you? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I have a a page myself. Um, You can follow me at Natural Natural Hair Love Club, and that is where everyone comes to see what I'm going to do next with my hair, (laughs) period. Here we go. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, Nicole, it has truly been an honor to chat with you today, and I know I'm excited to see what you have in the pipeline, and so is everyone else, but thank you so very much for taking this time out to share with us Mm -hmm. this afternoon. 
And, um, you know, I just, we just wish you the best. I wish you uh, the complete oh, and utmost best that, that you could ever have in life. So thank, thank you. you for being here today. Thanks so much for having me. All right. Take care. And we hope to have you back soon. Yes. I'm All coming right. back. All right. All right. All right. Well, everyone, there you have it. I'm Kim Hampton, and this is now PRMagazine.com, and we are signing off.